Hello guys, how are we doing today? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to this video. I don't believe you're doing good, I don't believe you're doing great. In this video, we're going to be doing an analysis of USDJPY and what to expect from the market this week. In case you're just coming across our videos, in case you're just coming across our channel, I want to say welcome, it's good to have you. What you want to do right now is click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell because we release videos like this almost every day, letting our viewers know what to expect from the market per time and you don't want to miss out on any of such videos. Before we get into the business of this video, I want to say congratulations to those who were able to take the trade based on our last analysis of USDJPY. When we did that analysis, the market was here and we did say that the market would go bullish and you can see that's exactly what happened. Um, the market has been buying from here, got to this region, then at this point it made a pin bar and we did say that um, the bulls are still in the market and we expect to see them push the market more. So you can see the market bought up to this region. So if you were able to get in on the buy, I want to say congratulations to you. Now let's start our analysis on the monthly time frame. On the monthly time frame, you can see USDJPY bought from here up to this region. And of course, if we compress the screen, you see that the market had bought um, for quite a while, for a couple of years, it has been buying. Then it bought up to this region, which was the highest it had gotten to in, I think this is the highest it had gotten to ever. So this is all time high. So um, it started selling, got to this region, which was a support region. And we did say that the market would buy, which it did bought up to this region and sold. Then the next month it continued buying. So last month ended as a bullish candle and of course that was happening after um, this other candle retested the support region which was previously a resistance then we saw bullish rejection so we did say that the market will continue buying which it did so this month as we can see it's currently a bullish candle now let's consider the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame we can see the market has been buying both from here up to this region then um, two weeks ago it ended as a doji and last week ended as a bullish candle and you can see this is the region where we did mark the other time that we said that the market must get to this region which we consider the next strong resistance region before it will sell again i can see it's pretty close it has gotten pretty close to that region then the daily time frame on the daily time frame you can see the market has been buying quite significantly the RSI is pretty close to the overbought region and the last candlestick on the daily time frame is a pin bar just like we had last week. Then let's consider the 4 hours time frame. On the 4 hours time frame you can see um, the market range a bit and continued buying then it closed as a doji. So that's what happened in the market last week. What do we expect from the market this week? This is going to be quite a simple video and just like I've said, it will be a continuation of the previous videos. Um, like we said in our previous videos, USDJPY is currently buying. Of course, there's strong bullish pressure. From the time we had this um, candlestick, I think this was the month of July, this August, July, yes. So this was the month of July. From the time we had the market sell down to this region and retested this region which was previously a resistance now to support then it made a bullish we saw bullish rejection from that time we did say that there will be strong bullish pressure after this period and we've seen the market bought in the month of august and this the month of september we can see the market is still buying and like i said in the last video even though this region is let me mark that region again even though this region has been the region we marked to be our tp for about i think the past um two months or so this region has been the region we marked from the time the market broke out of the support region yeah the resistance region we did say that the market is coming to this other region which is the next resistance region now 
even though with Mark Darrow John, we still see the possibility, like I said in last video, we still see the possibility of the market exceeding this region and perhaps coming to this other one. That is if it is not making a new all-time high um, this time around. But for now, we can still say, we can say that there is still bullish pressure in the market. So, like we can see how the market ended on um, the daily time frame there is still bullish pressure in the market this is a pin bar which is a bullish reversal candlestick pattern and we can see it is showing the continuation of a bullish move because it is occurring after two bearish candles so we expect the market and of course a pin bar happening here shows that the market sold or the bears pushed the market down to this region then the bulls came in and pushed the market above the open which is a sign of strong presence of the bulls so for that reason we believe the bulls are still in the market and we expect to see more activities of the bulls so um we expect we're still expecting the market to go bullish until the rsi gets um, above the overbought region on the daily time frame and perhaps the weekly time, time frame so after that of course we will look out for the possibility of a sell but for now we are still considering a buy so that's what we're expecting from the market this week if you have a different opinion you can use the comment section if you have any question you can also use the comment section i'll be glad to have a conversation with you like what we always say trading is a highly risky endeavor you don't venture into trading without proper knowledge if you know you don't have sufficient knowledge about trading you don't want to take this trade you can watch this video for educational purposes and it's going to serve you better than risking your heart and money in something you don't fully understand. If you want to get our Forex course, which is a complete guide on how to trade the financial market, it has beginners to advanced lessons. It has 30 videos and 3 ebooks, including my book Trading Without Tears. Check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get our Forex course. We also have an option where you can get the same course at 70% discount, but for only one month. So if you can't afford to get access to the course for a lifetime, you should be able to afford to get access to the course for one month. And within that period, you should be able to um, cover the course and that's watch all the videos and read all the books. Then you reserve the right to either renew your access or cancel it. So if you like to get access to the course at 70% discounts, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get the course. If you want to subscribe for a signal service where we give proper entry, stop loss, and take profit, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can subscribe for a signal service. And if you want to get a copy of my book, Trading Without Tears, check the description of this video. You're going to see a link where you can get the soft copy. If you want the hard copy, send us a direct message to any of our social media handles. You can find our social media handles in the description of this video. Tell us your location. We'll tell you the cost of shipping it. Once your payment is confirmed, you have the book delivered to you. So that's it from us on this video. I hope you got value. See you in the next video. Bye for now.